Hey everyone, I'm Eric, and in this Dundee Digital Workshop video, I'll be taking you through our main camera setup, which is a Blackmagic Ursa G2 4.6K. The way this rig's built out is pretty simple. On the back here is a DragCast V-mount battery, and that powers the entire thing. These are 95 watt hours, and we can get about three hours of battery life with this rig. On the top here is a Blackmagic Video Assist. This is the five inch. It's attached to the top here via a small rig magic arm. Also on the top here of the handle, we've got a ball mount, and that allows us to connect this whole unit to our easy rig. Now with the monitor up here and with the camera monitor, I typically run false color down here on the camera monitor, and up top I'll run a clean feed, but I'll also have focus peaking on this. So that way I can see focus and I can see exposure, and I can between the two monitors I can see real quick where the shot's at. For our lens right now, we've got Sigma's 24 to 70 Art series, and then on the front of that we've got a tilt -a matte box. The Ursa G2 does have built-in ND filters on it, so usually with this matte box we've just got a clear filter in the front. Over here on the side of the camera with a 15 millimeter rail system is a follow focus system from wooden camera. This is really handy when we're using the system with the easy rig. That way you can keep your hands over here and not have to go all the way in toward the lens. On the other side of the camera here, we've got another Asden SGM 250 CX mic. We basically just use this for picking up Nat sound again right in front of the camera when we're filming B-roll. We don't use it for interviews or anything, that's all recorded separately, but it's a fantastic mic for just picking up Nat sound close to the camera. That's held on by a mic mount that's actually sold by Blackmagic. It attaches in between the handle and the camera here. There's a tiny little gap there. Take the handle off, put the mic mount on, put the handle back on, and it just holds it right out to the side of the camera here. It's really nice. And then that just goes into one of the XLR ports on the top of the camera. We've got a handle on the side here. This is actually a Blackmagic handle, comes with the camera. It's got record start stop features on it. And then right next to that, we've got another small rig hard drive mount. We use the Samsung T5 hard drives because everything we record is in Blackmagic RAW. These are all one terabyte size and they fill up pretty quick with Blackmagic RAW footage, but they work really good for us. Underneath of the camera here, we've got the Blackmagic shoulder mount system. That also came with the camera when we bought it. It's a package deal. Um, we have that on there mainly so that we can have the 15 millimeter rails out in front holding the follow focus system. And then underneath the shoulder mount is another just standard Benro tripod plate that we use for our tripod mounts. That's it for this Dundee Digital Workshop video. Check out the rest of our YouTube page or head over to our website to see actual footage that we've shot using this rig. And of course, if you're looking for documentary cinematic video, don't hesitate to reach out. See you next time.